Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. All right, tomorrow we um, we have hot messy topics. I will figure out who with. Um, it's gonna be good. It's always good. And then today, just to give you guys an update on Up and Adam Channel Two, we're gonna have episode two of the Salty Podcast premiering with Monica video version. Um, I'm recording another episode with her tomorrow. So if you guys are listening to the podcast, we're going to have episodes Monday through Saturday, I believe, or Monday through Friday, something like that. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted. But anyways, with that, guys, go ahead, pop off in the comment section, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And Raquel is out here blasting out Jax. That's the pot calling the kettle. Let's go. Talking about the pot calling the kettle. Well, <laughs> here we go. Thanks, Rachel. Tasterreality.com came out with Rachel Levis wonders if Jax Taylor went to therapy as a PR spin, knowing Brittany Cartwright was divorcing him. Interesting take, Rachel. She gave her unsolicited opinion about Brittany Cartwright filing to divorce Jax Taylor. During an episode of the Rachel Goes Rogue podcast, Tom Sandoval's former side piece, you can taste the reality, you're so messy, chatted with her producer, who also works in public relations, about the troubled couple from the Valley. The divorce. Rachel's staffer asked Rachel, why the divorce announcement came after Jax's treatment. And she explained, we really just don't know the sequence of events. And when they chose to make certain things public, I don't know. Like, I'm assuming he had to go into treatment after something happened. Brittany clearly already heavily considered divorce at this point, And sometimes a lot happens all at once and it's out of our control. Now, Rachel and her producer think Jax is behind a PR spin. Not to be cynical, is what she's telling, I guess, Rachel. This is the producer. This is also speculation, but if he was going through all of the things that he was going through and knew that this divorce was inevitable, that could help his PR spin. Not that Jack's getting treatment was a PR stunt, but the announcement of it softens the blow before the divorce. The narrative was Jax is a cheater and wasn't a good partner. Then she files for divorce. Now, from a PR perspective, that can kind of soften some of the opinions towards him. In reality, what comes next will determine how people feel about him. But Rachel, who finally, I guess, um, understood what her co-host was putting out there, restated, so he gets more of the sympathy card if he comes out of an inpatient program center than gets hit with the divorce papers and the PR, the publicist added, it's not a bad thought from a PR side. Hmm. Well, aren't these two? Can you imagine the fact that they're talking about this? And I'm not questioning Rachel Raquel Rocky's mental health. I can imagine the whole world hating on you, turning on you. You know, you ended up sleeping with this girl's boyfriend and acting kind of like an asshole. And then the world treats you like an asshole. But then they got really aggressive and they're like telling her like awful, awful things. And then people can get to the brink of potentially wanting to hurt themselves. And that is not where you want them to go. But speaking of a PR stunt, stint, I kind of always thought that Rachel's was. And now that her publicist and her are both speaking on it, I'm like, I feel like you guys cleverly played this as well. Like, oh, I need help. I need treatment. Like, I feel like they knew what they were doing. That's how they're so easily able to identify what they think Jax is potentially doing. Does that make sense? Mm, it does to me. Hold on. I'm going to let you hear it for yourselves. Thank you to CC Loves You. Why the announcement came after his treatment. The divorce announcement came after he's completed his treatment. What do you think about that? We really just don't even know the sequence of events and, and when they chose to make certain things public. That's a good point. 
I don't know. Like, I'm assuming that he had to go into treatment after something happened. And Brittany clearly already was, you know, heavily considering divorce at this point. So I don't know if it's just like a matter of timing. I think just like sometimes <laughs> a lot happens all at once and it's it's out of our control. Well, and not to be cynical, and this is also speculation, but if he was going through all the things he was going through and knew that this was inevitable, that could also been just not that the that he him going in was a PR stunt. We know he went in, but the or we, but the the announcement of it sort of softens the blow before the divorce, right? Because the narrative, if, if if it wasn't this, was just the previous stuff was he was kind of a cheater or he was stepping out on her or he wasn't a great partner. And then she files for divorce. Now with that sort of in the middle from a PR perspective, that can sort of soften the opinion towards him. But in all reality, what's going to come next will determine how people feel about him. I think. Oh, so you're saying like it may have given him more of a reason to make his treatment public mm -hmm. knowing that Brittany was going to file for divorce. Correct. so that he could get more of a sympathy card. I know that's cynical. I know that's not nice. I'm just talking PR on that. I don't know them personally, oh, so I could be totally wrong. But it's, you know, not a, yeah. a bad thought from the PR side. Is why the announcement. Hmm. It's kind of like having one of those friends and they're like, oh, I think that you should... I think you should do this. I really, really do. It's like, well, how do you know? And then all of a sudden you find out that that shady bitch has been going behind your back. They're doing something and they know exactly what they're doing. Or it's like when somebody tries to give you a little bit of information and they're like, well, I would just leave that person alone. You know, like I think that they're going through something. I'm not sure though. I haven't talked to them, but they have talked to them. It's like the same thing. And I know that this might not, the math ain't math. And with what I'm saying, maybe it, it might not be making sense. But what I'm trying to get at is I think that they know this all too well from not just the PR stance of her being in PR, her co host over here, but also I wouldn't be surprised if. You guys did the same shit. And yes, do I think that it was odd timing for Jax and Brittany? One million percent. But it is what it is. Guys, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Do not forget that we are going live on, well, it's a premiere, on Up and Adam Channel 2 for episode two of the Salty Podcast, dropping today at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. 9.30 a.m. Pacific. If you guys haven't seen the promo, go check out the promo. But also, so many people have asked me, where can they find this podcast? I didn't realize that it was going to be such a pain in the ass for you guys to try to find it. But I've been trying to explain it the best way possible, which is anywhere you get your podcast, and I'm going to show you guys, you can go to Apple Podcasts, click on Top Shows, and you can scroll down. Right now we're number 15, which is incredible. You can click on Up and Atom, and you can see the Salty Podcast episode two right there. Boom. Just click on it. It's right there. And then once you click on it, you can press play. And then the rest is just, it is what it is. But guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are again. Um, and I will see you in the live chat once we hit play on the premiere. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think. I love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye.